What is up guys? How's everybody doing? Uh, this is a game that came out a couple of months ago. It's called uh, Generation Zero. Uh, basically, like the backstory of it is, um, you like went on a survival trip or something or to that effect, and you come back like to civilization, and like everything and everybody is gone. And uh, Gord said something about this game in Discord, so I was like, well, it looks interesting from the trailer. Uh, you can get it on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. This is actually on PC. Um, I got it a little, uh, got it a little bit of the pirating way uh, because I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. So I just, I'm uploading this for Gord. Let Gord see what it looks like. Um, basically, what it is is you go around scavenging like uh, houses and cars and stuff. And apparently, what took over civilization is like some kind of machines. Like I'll show you right here, like you can't make a bunch of noise uh, in the game, like I'll fire this gun. Alright, you see that yellow line? The yellow line, that means I've been, they, they've been alerted, I guess they're alerted by like sound and stuff. And it's like these crazy looking machines on two legs and they have like built in like friggin' M16s or something. See right there, he's coming. See right there, he's coming, looks like a friggin' mechanical horse almost. You see him right there? Straight above where that yellow line is right there. He looks like a dog or a horse almost. He's got like a freaking machine gun built on him. See, so I've entered combat. And I can't figure out how to freaking defeat these things. It's the best I can do is run. That's the only thing I know to do is run and try to evade them and crouch and hide from them, man. That's the only thing I know to do. I haven't figured it out. If I can say you have. Uh, you uh, loot places for medical supplies and weapons and bullets and all this different stuff. You could be like either a male or a female character. They have like a punk rock character, uh, a wannabe gangster character, a uh, rock looking character. And it, the a game is it got a good concept with it and you can play with friends. Well, I can't play with friends because, uh, you know, this is a bootleg copy so it's not online but um and it's see out there i just escaped combat so i leveled up and this game it takes place like in sweden or somewhere and what i've heard is if you do actually meet up with people the language is in sweden and like there's english subtitles that come across the screen um i don't it's sort of like um it's sort of like that game uh, we played where we was on the island and there was a bunch of cannibals. The forest or whatever, it's sort of like that, but instead of being cannibals, there's like actually these machines and you don't do no kind of building or anything. But you just gotta survive and scavenge and... Uh, I have no idea where the freak I'm going. Like I say, there's a, there's a map right here. Like I say, this is in Sweden. I mean, you can tell by these names. Bork and something other and... I can't pronounce all this crap. But you know, you got your inventory, and there's my little wannabe homie character I'm playing with. But this is the backpack. This is the stuff I've scavenged already. Uh, like I say, adrenaline shots, a, a pick, and there's flare guns, and fireworks, and ammo, and explosive, this and that. And you can build your skills uh, in a certain. Uh, it's just like, you know, survival. You can build your skills for combat, survival, tech, support. Uh, then, right here is some of the... Int this is the intro mission. Upon arrival back to somewhere in Sweden, after your group's weekend excursion on an island, it becomes immediately clear that something is not right. Something destroyed your boat with you barely making it onto shore alive. The thing, whatever it was, seems to have moved on, but the place seems eerily abandoned. Maybe there are people hiding in nearby buildings that you can, that can tell you a bit more of what's going on. But see right here it says locate and destroy enemy. I guess that's what I've got to do. I've picked up all this other crap, but I've not destroyed an enemy yet. But this is just like the, the, the basis of the story. But you can change his clothes. They've even got emotes. It's, look at it, it's like a hip hop, and freestyle, thumbs down. And of course, if you got a team to play with, uh, it's pretty interesting. I mean, it's a different take on a story. Um, a lot of stuff online, people said it was boring. 
which I guess I could sort of see that it, it, it could be boring after a while of playing it. Uh, especially, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just, like I say, more or less showing this for Gord the Goose, letting him see what it looks like, showing him my take on it. Um, I think it's like 40 bucks on PlayStation. I don't know. I don't know if I would pay that or not. I might if somebody was to play it with me. Uh, like I say, that's the reason I've got this version here, a little, uh, a little uh, bootleg, if you want to say it, uh, version. Um, I've not ran on to anybody yet. I've searched several buildings, several cars. Um, I've been down to the boat, one boat dock. Like I say, you're more or less just walking in the woods. I need to defeat the enemy. I'm not sure exactly how you do it. But yeah, this is just like a, like I say, it's just a preview of what the game of what the game is. There's my binoculars. It's how you use these. Okay, here you go. But you could put this stuff in different slots, like the binoculars, the adrenaline shot. It's got really good graphics, though, I mean, as far as that goes. It's got music like Stranger Things in it. That's what it reminds me of. Let's see here. Inventory, let me go assign this. Move item, assign the slot. Assign the slot down. And then health kit, I need to assign to a slot over. Alright, there's how you assign stuff. There's the health kit. And then there's the binoculars. And here's some explosive gas tank. I want to see if I could throw this. Let's see, did I drop it? Apparently I dropped it. Where crap did it go though? Alright, I just took a health kit. I needed that. Alright. All right, some of these, there we go. All right, y takes you back to your gun and drops down the uh, takes the whatever the you take from like the like the binoculars. You got those up. You want to? Well, you need your gun right fast. Press Y. Takes you back to your thing. I don't know what I did with my gas can. I don't know if I, I guess I dropped it somewhere. Try to see if I can alert one of them robot looking things. Apparently they don't want not a big worm. But yeah, it's first person that makes it really makes you uh, involved in the game. I don't know, Gord, I think you would like it, buddy. And talk with your flashlight is the uh our uh, our joystick pushing it down, pushing it on. Sorry if you hear Spike barking in the background. He's being a butthead today. Or actually, that's Brooklyn. So make this will make for a good video with a bunch of dogs barking in the background. But yeah, I mean, other than I don't know what you do other than try to find people I mean I don't I don't think you have to eat on it it's not giving me an option to try to eat or anything yet or drink water see if I can get up here at a higher elevation and check out these binoculars holy moly Makeup, some firecrackers, I uh, take that stuff. Whoa. Gee, this is like I'm all alone, man.
And there's safe houses on here. I, I forgot about that. There is safe houses. Dang, I'm I'm a long way from. I think I got the I think I got to defeat one of them enemy. Let me see. Yeah, it definitely has like that Stranger Things music uh, that y'all hear it in the background. There's a road. The telephone pole. Maybe we're close to civilization. Ah, oh, there's a boat yard or something. Two of them freaking things here. Well, now the crap you defeat these things. Come on, man. There's two of them. Oh, see, they're firing back at me. Jerks. Freaking turds. Oh, there's three of them. Ah, oh, son of a. He capped the crap out of me. Watch here, though. Ah, son of a... I drowned. Daggone, how you supposed to... How you supposed to defeat them with friggin... A hand... There we go, I got one. There we go. Just took enough shots, I guess. Ah, uh, brother done drowned. Took the road for a safe place. Run, sucker, run! Oh crap. Cut down, hide. Hide, man, hide. Yeah, anytime you can read the tutorial or something or other. Well, I defeated them. That's what I was supposed to do. Follow the road to look for a safe place. You are now armed and can defend yourself. However, it will be good to have a safe location to hold up in the return. And then, <clears throat> up in and return to should things turn for the worse. Follow the road which should lead you to some sort of civilization where you can find people or, in the worst case, a hiding place. Alright, let's go to the map. Ah, what's that? Is that the place I was just at? Yep, it is. Am I going in the right direction? Yep. Nope, wait a minute. Oh, I ain't got no more med. Son of a biscuit. You big retard. <laughs> Assign to down slot. Adrenaline shot, okay. I don't know how you apply the adrenaline shot. 
Oh, okay, that's a good one I have. Fries the circuits. Sorry guys, you guys know as, uh, as much about this game as I do. I'm just trying to figure it out. This won't be too long. Up upload if y'all make it this far. Like I say, it's pretty interesting, but would I pay 40 bucks for it? I... I don't know if I would or not, Gord. You, you probably would like it more than I do, because I suck at this kind of stuff. But I mean... I mean, it's free, it didn't cost me nothing, so... Yeah, but see, yeah, there's a bunch of them things here, man. No. Oh, son of a... No. There we go, fry him. Fry that jerky. Attack of freaking courage. Oh, crap. Ah, son of a one hit, dude. Like vanilla ice, one hit wonder. Sheesh. Suck on that, you jerk. Oh, son of a bitch. Run, white boy. Run. Turn the house. Open the door. Oh, my goodness, the door opens outward. Son of a. Oh, my gosh. Oh boy. Here, hide in the toilet. Oh, good place to hide because I think it just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh man. Jeez. I mean, I literally gotta go, I gotta use the, I gotta go pee actually. <laughs> But there you go, Gord. You get the gist of the game, man. Uh, I can say I think you would probably like it. Uh, but I just figured I'd try it out for you, buddy. Let you to see what it looks like. I would like to actually run onto some people. Sorry, guys. I can't remember the controls. And I'm, I haven't run onto anybody yet, though. I wonder if they can come in the house. I don't know if they can come in the house or not. That's a good question. I took the radio, so I looted something. Ah, apparently they can't. So, like, these houses are safe houses. They can't come in them. Oh, they can shoot through the freaking windows. Oh, there we go. There's a hunting rifle, yo. Oh, mother! He can hit you through the freaking window. Hey, go! He's ghetto blasting me. Come on through that door. Pop out, boat action. All right, there. You get the you get the gist of it, though, guys. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments uh, what do you think it'd be interesting to watch or no. Uh, give me your honest opinion, and we'll catch you guys later. Much love. After that battle, I have got to go to the John myself. We'll see you guys later.